Hello, internet friends. Today we are talking about six spring micro trends that I think are just not worth investing in. Now, as always, I like to approach this video as an avid thrifter and someone who sees a lot of micro trends end up in the thrift store. And I just know how fast we kind of churn and burn some of these current trends. So I just want to cover six topics that I think are just on their way out and probably not worth investing in at this point. Okay, so first and foremost, we're gonna start out with bows. Now, I know this is probably a little bit shocking to hear as a micro trend because I do think bows are here to stay and I think there's something that can always elevate a wardrobe. However, I think we are experiencing major bow fatigue. I feel like it's kind of like the swirl print that we saw a couple years back or maybe even those like heavily embroidered sweaters that just had that like chunky vibe but then you saw like Timu and Shein just like knocking these out like crazy well now it's starting to happen with bows unfortunately I still think there are so many good bow looks to incorporate into your wardrobe but I do honestly think there is major bow fatigue like I am just tired of seeing some of these looks just recently I saw a like motocross leather jacket with bows all over it go viral and I'm just like oh no when we start combining these things and just like making all of these trends mesh together it's just, we've we've pushed it too far it's gone to the limit I love seeing like those little bow hair clips I love the little like front tie bows where it's just like I don't know kind of a, a night jacket but then it's got like a little bow tie front like all of those are just cute looks and I think can so easily be incorporated into a wardrobe but buying a jacket with just bows just plastered all over it just does not seem practical I think it just seems like a waste of money and I can guarantee you by this time next year I will be seeing bow jackets all over the place at the thrift store. They will be everywhere and nobody will be buying them because they were so cheaply made. Next up is bags with statements all over it. I am seeing this everywhere on the trends prediction lists and I think this is going to be a flash in the pan. I do not think this is going to be something that lasts very long. And on top of that, I think bags are one of those pieces that you should think the most methodically about. This is a piece just like shoes that you're going to be wearing every single day. These should be pieces that match multiple things in your wardrobe. Having so much like embellishment and almost like keychain accessories definitely kind of dresses down the bag and it also makes it a lot more of a statement piece and a focal point in your wardrobe whereas I think bags should be very universal. Now I think one way to kind of counteract and work against this is if this is something that you want to incorporate in your wardrobe, don't go out and buy the bag with the accessories on it. Buy the bag and then put the cute accessories that you can so easily take off onto the bag. And that solves the problem. That just like completely answers the dilemma to this. I feel like you can so easily get like a cute keychain, something with, I don't know, maybe like a little fluffy ball and some bling and all that sort of stuff and just attach that to your bag. It is so easy to do and it does not require going out and investing in a bag that probably won't make sense for very long in your wardrobe. This kind of very much reminds me of the Y2K trend when we had like a lot of Betsy Johnson bags with a lot of embellishment on it. Do I think it's fun and was it something when I was a lot younger that I absolutely loved adding into my wardrobe, yes. But now being a little bit older and a little bit wiser when it comes to fashion and pieces that are going to last me for as long as I can make them last, I just don't think this is something that I would practically add into my wardrobe. But again, I think there are really good workarounds and I think there are great ways to still have fun with this concept but not end up investing in a bag that probably just won't make sense in the long run. Next up is the motocross slash Formula One racing trend. This one actually marries with that bow trend that I just talked about because I felt like they married the two and it just got a little bit too chaotic. But the Formula One trend I think is the weirdest one to me because we just saw Formula One in Las Vegas and I don't know if that's where that style trend is coming from. We saw a lot of influencers kind of start wearing these looks and just really promoting it as a way to promote the event. 
Uh, do I think this is something that like, unless you already wear this on a regular basis as like your fashion choice, I don't know if this is really a very practical trend. Uh, I do think this is something that you can find at the thrift store. So if it's something that you're really interested in, I would highly recommend going into the men's section or the little kids section and thrifting some of these pieces. But I don't personally think I would go out and seek out any of these pieces, even if they were in the designer field. I don't know, they just don't seem something as like a practical piece to have in a wardrobe. This very much reminds me of the Adidas soccer jersey campaign, uh, Bella Hadid wearing soccer jerseys nonstop and just making it go viral so quickly. It really came and went so fast. This next one is probably going to be a big shock to some of you because I personally, I love this trend, but I also really, really think this is gonna come and go so fast. Mesh ballet flats. Is it adorable? Yes, a thousand percent. Do I love seeing it styled up? Again, yes, a thousand percent yes. Do I think it's gonna come and go super, super fast? Yes, I really do. I really don't see this lasting. I am so much hoping that ballet flats are here to stay. And even if they aren't, I'm still gonna be rocking them because I've already incorporated them into my wardrobe. But I do think ballet mesh flats just don't make sense and they don't look like they're going to hold up that well. Uh, I see them as ripping and tearing. They're just not a shoe that seems like they have that much integrity to it. They just seem so impractical. As someone who is very rugged with their shoes, I try my best not to wear open-toed shoes at the thrift stores just because like, hello, hazardous stuff going on all over the place. And then on top of that, I live in Florida, so you never know when it's gonna rain. I am sorry, but I would not want to be caught in the rain in something with mesh ballet flats. Again though, do I think it is like the cutest trend going on right now? Yes, I, I love seeing it. I just don't see the practicality in it. Okay, number five for micro trends that I really don't think are worth it right now, men's ties. <laughs> Again, this is something that I tried out. I went out and I thrifted a men's tie and guess who has not worn a men's tie a single time since I tried that trend? Me, me right here. It just, it doesn't fit in my wardrobe. It doesn't fit in my style. I am seeing it continually pop up on the trends list. Every single time I read what's going on, it seems to be men's ties are still trying to make their way into the mainstream trend. I think there are certain accounts out there, certain style accounts that I love seeing this trend. I think it definitely works for that very maximalist style. But I think like the Prada tie that we saw kind of come and go on the trends list with like the very masculine style that was going on, I just could not see myself going out and buying that tie and like crying myself to sleep because I only wore it once. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like it makes sense. It's very much a statement piece. Um, again, maximalist wardrobe, ties would work. My wardrobe, ties just don't make sense. However, yet again, this is something that as a micro trend, I definitely think you can go to the store and try this out. There are, I mean, every thrift store has an entire rack of men's ties, just like waiting, just begging to be picked up. Definitely go seek it out at the thrift store, uh, but also know that like, it's a very particular style. And if it doesn't fit in your wardrobe, it may not be a good thing to invest in. Take it from someone who tried it and was like, when am I ever gonna wear this? Probably not anytime soon. Not that I can think of. The very last micro trend that I am very perplexed by is the mob wife aesthetic. <laughs> this is how sad micro trends are, but I feel like this has already peaked, but I am still seeing it like every single time I look at trend lists, I am still seeing the mob wife aesthetic talked about. It's pretty much between mob wife and the siren aesthetic or si siren like work aesthetic, siren office aesthetic, that's what it is. Yeah, those two just don't make any sense to me. I think especially the mob wife aesthetic is just one of those things that it's like, what, what options do you have? You pretty much just have like a, a leopard fur coat uh, and we're in springtime right now. So something tells me you're probably not gonna be rocking a leopard coat. Faux fur coats are always a good investment when it comes to my business. Um, historically speaking, they have always sold really well. However, I do think at this point in time, 
most people know that you can so easily walk into a thrift store and find these. Personally, I think it is, again, something that like, unless you already have pieces like that in your wardrobe, you're most likely not gonna find any use out of it in the long term. So I definitely consider it a micro trend. Okay, friends, that is it for today's video. Again, this is just a critical way to look at some of these fashion trends. I'm sure there is always going to be somebody watching these videos that maybe already has this piece in their wardrobe. They've already invested in it and they absolutely love it. And that is okay. I by no means am saying you should not buy or invest in any of these pieces. My goal is that we can kind of take a step back and really look at these trends and think, is this something that fits in my wardrobe? Because if it doesn't, it's just not worth investing in at all. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are new around here, I might have a couple extra videos for you right here and right here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.